mean, you get a quarterback, which is recruiting rule number one. Uh, you get a top 10 at his position, top 10 pocket passer. That's pretty darn good. Um, locally, as opposed to nationally, I think that that's pretty good. Uh, most of the guys who signed are from Florida. You have a couple other regional guys, uh, you know, Quentin Williams from North Carolina. Um, I think there's, well, no, there was, uh, you know, Romello Height from Georgia, but he did not end up signing. Uh, Chris Washington from Nashville, Corey Flagg Jr. from Texas, Tyreek Austin Cave from New Jersey. Um, so, yeah, you know, you, you get some some of those guys, but a lot of the talent is from Florida um, and locally in Florida at, at that. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, stacking classes on top of one another in some places that's good in other places that's not um that's one of the other recruiting rules following the visits i mean hey look at romello height that is i mean i'm not gonna say that that's a good thing obviously uh, in miami's case but if you look at some of these other things following the visits you know guys who came down guys who committed uh and things like that that went well uh, so off the top of my head in general i think uh miami's done pretty well but it's not a, a perfect kind of thing, especially when you miss. Uh, and I haven't even talked about the misses locally, like all of the, you know, Bud Elliott at uh, Banner Society now, the former SB Nation National College Football website. Uh, he does a scorecard of where the blue chip players from Florida go and sign. Um, and a lot of them are going other places. And Miami has gotten some in this cycle, but a lot of them are the mid to lower part of the blue chip uh, group, uh, you know, your top rated ones, Donald Cheney Jr., Chance Williams, Jalen Rivers, you know, they're up there uh, and everything. Oh, Jalen Harrell also, you know, th those are, you know, mid to upper tier in the blue chip uh, por proportion. But I mean, the misses are notable. Marcus Roseman is going to go and be three years in the first round draft pick to George as a wide receiver. Uh, you know, Elvis Dumerville's cousin, Marcus Dumerville at St. Thomas Aquinas, he's going to LSU. His teammate, Marlon Martinez, is going to LSU. Both of them offensive linemen at a position of great, dire, desperate need. You have Isaiah Walker Jr. from Miami, Norland, whose high school is a literal, I mean, like an easy walk. Not like a walk where you're going to be going through the desert for 40 years kind of walk. I mean, like, it's on 199th around the corner from Hard Rock Stadium. And you let that kid get away. And... <clears throat> You know, there's more on top of that where that came from. But, uh, yeah, you know, when you look at the the misses, and I mean, and people are going to say, okay, well, you know, we weren't in it to the end, so it's not a miss. The fact that you weren't in it to the end makes it a miss. But all these blue chippers, these guys at positions of dire need that you're not getting in this class from Miami matters. Corey Flake Jr. is 5'10". He's not 5'8". He's very productive. Uh, he and Tyreek Cave, or Austin Cave, excuse me, combined for about 300 tackles as high school juniors. Uh, with their tackles per game rate staying the same or increasing this year as seniors, I would believe the raw numbers for Tyreek Austin Cave improved. The raw numbers went down for Corey Flagg because he missed some games with a shoulder injury, but the per game numbers and statistics and rates went up. I mean, he's a guy who I think can play here. Um, I would have felt a lot better if that were a Justin Flo or a Keyshawn Green at that spot, but or in addition to maybe uh, one of those spots. But it is what it is. Onward, upward, before we go. Avante Williams was committed to Oregon. That is Lorenzo Lingard's cousin. Um, I believe that he has two children. He has at least one. I think he might have two kids. Um, so people are thinking Florida or other teams that are maybe a little bit closer to his home and land because, like, he's got two kids. Uh, Demon Clowney, that's Jadavian Clowney's younger cousin, a four-star edge rusher. Um, that's a guy who I would be interested to see maybe some contact being made. Malachi Weidman from Venice. Um, high school is a wide receiver and a very good basketball player, so he wants to play both in high school. Is an athletic freak. I mean, that kid, he's like a... When I see him jump in basketball, it reminds me of Randy Moss jumping in basketball. In basketball. Listen to what I said now. Listen closely because you guys are going to it. When he jumps in basketball, it looks like when Randy Moss was in high school jumping in basketball. That kind of, oh, my God, this kid is 6'4", six, 6'5", six, but he has springs. That kind of a thing. And that's a guy uh, who uh, was committed to Florida State, might still end up at Florida State. Uh, but we'll see. Um 
you know, there, there are some names there. Um, you're obviously going to have to hit the transfer portal and look at some names there. Um, you know, because you're going to need uh, just additional bodies. And Manny Diaz made a point in his Wednesday presser, at, uh, you know, when he was finally able to name kids by name, because you cannot do that until they've signed, uh, that, uh, you know, you're going to look for some age in some of these rooms, which means to me at cornerback and at offensive line, you're going to look to bring in grad transfers and guys of age to help out at this these positions. You're going to need to also bring them in guys with age and talent because you went for some age this year. Uh, Tommy Kennedy being the most noteworthy from Butler. And he didn't play. He was a fifth year senior. You know, he's a guy who started 31 games at the FCS level. You bring him in, you know, you beat Auburn for him, you, you know, whatever, whatever. I figure he was going to be in the conversation for left tackle. And he played a literal handful of snaps all year, not even at tackle. Excuse me, I think he played center. Um, which is a position that you need, but it is not as impactful to the offense. It is not as premium a position as left tackle. Um, so you strike out there. So, I mean, this year you got to do a little bit better.